Hello everyone. This video tutorial is about 2D beam analysis in Ansys Workbench. An overhanging beam, steel beam is shown in the figure. That is a steel beam shown in the figure. Its modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. And second moment of area is 200 into 10 to the power 6. And it carries a point load of 20 kN. Uh, clockwise moment. 5 kN per meter and then a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter. So I'm going to zoom square cross section of it and for moment of inertia of 210 to per 6, this cross section will be 221.34 millimeter. So determine reactions, forces and moment at each port, vertical deflection at each node and plot shear force, bending moment and vertical deflection along the length of the beam. So first uh, reactions are required. So there are two sport. One is a fixed sport and the roller sport. So reactions at that required. And then vertical deflection at nodes. So there are one, two, three, four, and five nodes. So vertical deflection at that required. And then need to plot shear force bending moment and then vertical deflection along the length of the beam is required. So this is a modified problem. Uh, of problem 3.1 from chapter 3 beam elements of book introduction to finite element analysis using MATLAB and Abacus from so that is the problem 3.1 it's the same problem so I'll use the results of this solved problem to verify my results so it is from chapter 3 beam elements of that book introduction to finite element analysis using MATLAB and Abacus so that is a complete problem description. So steps to analyze this beam in ANSYS workbench. The first is project need to start static, static structural project. Then in engineering data add material. Then in geometry by selecting geometry option and analysis type need to sketch that part. And then in the model in the geometry material assignment and then meshing using a specific element size then a node selection to plot that vertical deflection at five nodes and then construction geometry need to create a path along the length to plot bending moment shear force and and deflection and then applying boundary condition like applying the sports and then applying pressures and then the solution need to add Solution. So force reaction is required, direction deformation at nodes required, shear force along the length required, bending moment along the length required, directional deformation along the length required then to solve it and then the result reaction at sports, direction deformation at nodes, shear force along length, bending moment along length and deflection curve along length that is need to plot it. So these are the steps which need to follow uh, for analysis of this beam. So first step is to start a project, static, static structural project. So here is workbench. So in the workbench, uh, when you'll open, so it is uh, show you unsaved project. And here in the analysis systems, you can go for static structural, double click on that static structural. So it will appear up that one. And there are the steps from one to seven, which I have just described. So these steps I'll follow and I'm going to save it. So that is saved as beam 2D problem. So that is being saved. So the project is saved here. Next step in engineering data need to add material. And for that one here, you have that engineering data, double click on that. So the default material is structural steel and that structural steel have the same uh, modulus of elasticity and the Poisson's ratio, which uh, we need, but I'm going to show you how to add a new material. So here click to add new material. So I'm going to add here steel. So once the material is created, now need to linear elastic, isotropic elasticity need to drag it here. And then here the Young's modulus. So you can change units from here. So it is 200 e raised per nine. So, and then Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So that is a Poisson's ratio. And then uh, the properties of that steel they are being added here. So I'm going to save it. So once you save it, then you can close that window. Next step in the geometry, need to select analysis type. Basic geometry options are line loads and analysis type is 3D. 
and for that one in the geometry right click on that so here you have the properties if these uh, will not appear up then you can click on the properties in the view here so then the line bodies and analysis type i'm going to select here as 3d although this analysis is 2d but if you select here 2d so and so workbench will not solve it so then that is uh, selected and then the next one is here you need to start design modeler for the sketching and here uh, you have here space plane geometry and design modeler geometry so you can draw it anywhere uh, in any so design modeler is uh, is a simpler one but space plane is not that simple as compared to the design modeler but it has more option in that so i'm going to start that uh, new design modeler so it will take some time for design modeler to open so it is a design modeler in design modeler is a tree outline and then detail view and then the graphics so for that one uh, here what is required like you need to sketch that then concept line from sketches and generate so here is a beam which need to sketch so for beam its dimensions are in uh, meters 4 6 4 and 8 so in the design modeler first i need to go here change the units to meters so units to meter then you have sketching i want to uh, plot it in sketch it in xy plane so just click on xy plane and then you'll have that xy plane then sketching in the sketching need to go setting and then grid on and then stamp on and major grid spacing i'm going to keep that as 5 meter and then the minor is minor step per major is 5 so once it's done then i go to draw and then here i'll so you select xy plane so by clicking on that axis so it is xy plane or otherwise you can have from here so line so first line line is the first line is four meter then the line is six meter okay then the next line is four meter and then eight meter so the next is four meter again and then the last one is eight meter so now in the dimension i'm going to display that one so in the general so that is four that is six that is again four and that must be eight but i intentionally draw it as six okay so you can change it from here like the h4 to 8 okay so now all these dimensions whatever are the required so they are done so that is cached so now so that all is being so now you can go to concept line from sketches and then generate that so in the modeling click on that sketch so that is being highlighted so then in the concept line from sketches and the next one line from sketches base objects that are being selected so apply and then generate so now you can see that here is a line you have done that sketch and then it's converted to a line body but in the line body cross section is missing so for that one the next step concept cross section rectangular and then generate so for that one here concept cross section rectangular so you can change the units to uh, millimeter because a square cross section is required and then each side is 221.34 and then 221.34 so that is here you will have that the 221.34 because cross section is uh, square with 221.34 so now that is rectangular 221.34. So once it's done, so you can save that and then close it. Next step, need to start model. So for that one here, double click on the model. So it says that starting mechanical. So NCS mechanical will start after some time. So here is the model. And now in that mechanical, so all that rest of the stats, 
rest of all that steps they are going to perform here. So the first one is you need to, in the geometry, need to assign material. So here, uh, click on the geometry, you have line body and default material structure steel is selected. So you need to change that to the steel material which we have added. So now that is like material is changed. Next step in the model, mesh and by using a <clears throat> suitable element size, need to generate mesh. So for that one, here you have mesh and for that mesh, like element size, I'm using here as one meter, but before that you need to go home and change the units to the standard one. So now it is one meter, so mesh and in the mesh generate. So now you can see that mesh is being generated. So based on that, like there are, these are the nodes. So now the mesh with element size of one is created. Next step is selection of nodes. And for that mesh by ID and then add node numbers. The node numbers here in the problem. So they are like on that I have used the vertices but in here the node number is different so for that one in the model and then in the selection mesh by id so you can add their node numbers and it's very simple like select that box and vertices so the vertices number are just add their vertices number 20 then is 14 then 10 then 1 and then 2 so just select that so these are the nodes so i am going to create name selection so here in the name selection i am going to rename that as nodes so these are the nodes which are like these nodes which are in the question so obviously they are different from uh, here next step is to create path using construction geometry and for path like uh, like all those whole of the beam is selected for that so now again in the model you will have here in the model construction geometry path so now the, for the construction geometry it says that path type is two points so you can add two points by using the coordinates but here i'm going to select that edge so edges and for that one here need to select edges and then with the box select I am going to select all these edges. So all those edges are selected. So here apply. So now in the path here path. So that path is selected. So then in the model all done next step in the setup need static structural need to apply boundary condition so there are two uh, uh, sports there one is fixed and one is a roller so for roller need to select displacement so the first one here stack structural go to environment and environment here you have like sports so i am going to select fixed sport so that is a fixed sport and it says that scoping method scoping method is the vertex here I am going to select that vertex applied so that fixed support is being applied there. So the next one is uh, simple uh, simple support. So that simple support is at the length of three on the second vertex. So for that one, I'll go right click on that and then insert. And here for this time, you need to add displacement. So that is the displacement and displacement at which like somewhere here that at here apply and then the components so for that simple sport a roller only vertical displacement is zero here so i am going to set that y equal zero okay and i am going to rename that as roller so now both sports they are being added one is a fix and the other one is roller so they are being added 
next step in the static structural need to add load so we have here a force moment and a line pressure so udl in ansys workbench that is treated as line pressure and for line uh, for force or moment need to select vertex coping method in geometry vertex and for line pressure it is h so here are at 4 meter there is a concentrated load of 20 kN there is a moment and then that is a udl so i am going to start from here first i am going to add that point load of 20 kN and for that one here in the static structural so you can have that force so force it says that scoping method geometry selection and i am going to select that vertex for that and then here is that at 4 meter apply and then here define by components and then y component is minus 20 kN so that force is applied there so that 20 kN that is being applied now the next one is 5 kN per meter moment in clockwise direction so next here click on moment so that is a moment and then scoping method for that is again that vertex so on that one applied and then here the component and this moment is about z axis in clockwise direction so z axis minus 5 e raised par 3 so that is in clockwise direction along z axis so that is along okay so that is moment being applied so the next one need to apply a udl and for udl that udl is 5 kN and for udl here in the loads you have that line pressure or otherwise you can right click on that insert and then somewhere here you have line pressure so that line pressure i am so it is basically udl so for that one for line pressure need to select face and you can see that edge and that edge we need to select so that edge is selected applied and then udl defi defined by its components and then y it is minus 5 kN 5 e raised to the power 3 so that load is being applied there so now you can see that the first force of uh, 20 kN applied then the moment of 5 kN meter applied and then a udl of 5 kN per meter is being applied so now uh, now all loads they are being applied here so i click on that all loads are being applied now next step in the solution need to request solution the first one is reactions required and reactions at those boundary condition like sports at sports required so for that one in the solution and here you can go to the prop and in that prop you can add force reaction or moment reaction so click on that here you will have prop and for that prop force reaction so force reaction okay so first i am going to select this one as fixed support okay so force reaction so at fixed support i added then the force reaction again go to prop force reaction at roller support so i am going to rename that force reaction at roller support that is required and then again in the prop Uh, moment reaction and moment reaction at fixed support that is requested so that is fixed so now these three force reaction at fixed supports then force reaction at roller support and force reaction at fixed supports so they are being added in the solution now the next one directional deformation along the nodes they are required and for that one first i am going here directional deformation total that is not required but i am just to check that how is that deform and then here directional deformation 
directional deformation in y axis along y axis along the nodes. So here's the geometry selection. I'm going to name selection. And in the name selection here, you can see I have named those as nodes. And then orientation, y axis is required because of the vertical. So now that directional deformation at nodes that is added in the solution. Next step is shear force and for that beam results. Scoping method is path because I have created a path along the length and then type is directional shear force. So again here in the beam results, so shear force and here you have that total shear force. I don't need that total shear force. I'll select that directional shear force in y axis and then here the geometry selection i'm going for path and path along the length i have already created so now directional shear force along that length i have requested the next one bending moment in the beam results is required and for that one beam results and then here is the bending moment but it says that total bending moment i'm not interested in total bending moment i am interested in directional bending moment and directional bending moment about z axis so about z axis so that is a directional bending moment along whole length i have requested and then geometry selection for that is path and then give the name as path so now the directional bending moment along that path is requested. So next directional deformation along uh, the whole length of beam is required. And for that, again, I am going here in the deformation, directional deformation, directional deformation, I'm going to rename that directional deformation along Y, uh, along in Y axis along the length. And for that, geometry selection is path. So select that path name. And then here you'll have that Y. So now that directional deformation along path is required uh, added in the solution. So now all that information which is required in the solution. So that next step is to solve. And it's very simple. Just click on that solution and then click on solve. So it will take some time so when all now they have all ticks which means that all that solution which is required so that is now we have here so next step in the results need to first find reaction that supports and for that one here are force reaction at the fixed port, then force reaction at the roller sport, and then moment reaction at the fixed port. So force reaction at fixed port, you can see that it is minus 32 kilonewton. Then at roller sport, it is minus uh, is 92 kilonewton, and then moment. So it is about z axis. That is the value, and that is one. So that is 121 kilonewton meter. Now for that uh, problem, so all the solutions are a little bit different, not uh, what we got. But here you can see that at uh, element one, so there is a certain value of Fy1, so which is that uh, like reaction, and here force reaction at fixed port that is minus 32 kilonewton and that is somewhere here minus 32 kilonewton and the moments at that is something 121.4 but that is in newton millimeter here that is in newton millimeter and that one moment if you are going to select that here in the millimeter so then it is one like 121 so 1 to 1, 1.21 1 in 10 to raise power 8. So that is the same one which is here, slightly different. And the slightly difference is like, uh, depends upon that the solver and then 
probably using a, a, a different a slightly different value of mod, uh, second moment of inertia so this is so like the force reactions like uh, and moment reaction at the spores so that is being now from here you can get the next one is reactional deformation at the nodes and for that one here you have directional deformation at the nodes and these are the selected nodes and that is a total deformation so you can use that probe for that to get those results so now you can see that on that nodes the uh, minimum in millimeter is 534 and the maximum is 15.8 and in the book these are values are somewhere 15.57 and minus 533 these are in millimeters so they are like uh, in the similar range or otherwise i can export that as export as a text file and i'm going to save that as deformation and then you'll have that value at node number one what is minus 128 then 534 and then 15 and in the book they are the same minus 128 533 and 15 so the values are quite close to that one so the next one is shear force along the length shear force along the length and for that one here we have shear force along yeah that is a directional shear force along the length okay and that is a plot for that one okay so and these are the values along that so you can just export those values from here and then that is the, along that length that is a shear force so and that's a plot of that shear force so here you can see like under the udl it must be a inclined line but because of uh, that meshing so you are getting that steps the next one is bending moment about along the length and for that one directional bending moment along the length and that is the directional bending moment along the length and these are the values of that one directional bending moment and here i'm going to change its units to meters and you can see that that is the minimum is minus 3.2 and the maximum is 121 so somewhere and again these bending moments here so they are somehow similar to these ones and now in the results the last one is the deflection curve and for that one is the directional deformation along the length and that is a directional deformation in meters so you can change units into millimeters and that is these are the values of that directional deformation so you can simply uh, copy it from here and that is the graph of directional deformation so that is all about that but uh, sometime for beam analysis we need to plot shear force diagram bending moment diagram and then the flexion curve so all those three can be requested as one go and i'm going to show you here how you can do that one in the solution beam results shear moment diagram so that is a total shear moment diagram and that i want along that path which is created so that is the path and then it's a total shear moment diagram but i'm not looking for total i'm looking for directional so it says that uh, shear force in y direction moment in z direction and then that u or deflection in y direction so then here directional shear so i'll hit that solve so and then you'll have here like in the bug sheet so you can see that that is the shear force diagram along the length that is a bending moment along the length and that is a deflection curve and then here so you can have the values and the units here are in millimeters so you can change it to meters so then these are values along that length along that length of the graph so in this way you can plot that shear force diagram bending moment diagram and then deflection curve along that length of the now that's all and now the summary of that so these are 
seven steps which I have followed. Although this video is a little bit lengthy, but here I try to cover all aspect of beam analysis. So the first step, you need to start a static structural project. Then you need to add material. There are some uh, predefined material. So you can select those one or you can uh, use your own. Then the geometry. In the geometry, this using design modeler, you need to uh, sketch that. And then the geometry, you need to assign material, mesh, then node selection, then construction geometry. And then in the static structure, you need to add supports and loads. And then the solution for whatever is required, you need to request. And then the result, you can visualize all those results.